हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर पोएट्री सीरीज डिकोडिंग पोएम्स इन पार्ट वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू पोएम वी एक्सप्लोर द बेजिक्स ऑफ पोएम एंड लर्न वॉट मेक्स इट यूनिक इफ यू मिस डेट बी श्योर टू चेक इट आउट लेट्स नाउ मूव टू पार्ट टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग राइम इन पोएट्री इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर एन इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट ऑफ पोएम्स राइम we will learn what rhyme is discover different rhyme schemes and explore various rhyme styles by the end you will have clear understanding of how rhyme works in poetry so without further ado let's get started what is a rhyme rhyme is the repetition of similar sounds usually at the end of lines in the poetry it's like the rhythmic beat of a poem that adds musicality and makes the verses pleasant to the ear think of rhyme as a playful dance of words that creates a pattern making the poem more engaging and memorable let's understand what is rhyme scheme the rhyme scheme of a poem is the pattern of rhymes at the end of each line often represented by letters here are some of the common rhyme schemes number 1 a a b b here the first and second line rhyme with each other and the third and fourth line rhyme with each other for example twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky if you notice closely in this example star rhymes with r so line 1 and 2 are rhyming and i rhymes with sky so line 3 and 4 are rhyming so the pattern becomes a a b b let's look into second pattern number 2 a b a b here the first line rhymes with third line and the second line rhymes with the fourth line for example mary had a little lamp little lamp little lamp its fleece was white as snow and everywhere that mary went mary went mary went the lamp was sure to go in this example lamp rhymes with went so line 1 rhymes with line 3 and snow rhymes with go so line 2 rhymes with line 4 so it's a b a b let's look into third rhyme style a b c b here only the second and fourth line rhymes with each other for example jack and jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water jack fell down and broke his crown and jill came tumbling after in this example heel does not rhyme with water or crown but water rhymes with after so line 2 and 4 are rhyming rest all lines are not rhyming so this is all about rhyme scheme now let's understand rhyme styles there are mainly five types of rhyme style number 1 perfect rhyme this is the most common type where the final sounds of the words match exactly the example that we saw of the poem twinkle twinkle little star here star and r rhyme perfectly similarly c and t are perfect rhymes number 2 near rhymes or slant rhyme or imperfect rhyme here the sounds are similar but not identical for example when you feel alone at home remember i will always come in this example home and come are near rhymes because they do not match exactly but sound similar number 3 i rhyme here the words look like they should rhyme but they do not sound alike for example in a garden full of peace and love a white feather friend flies like a dove here love 
and dough looks rhyme but they do not sound alike before internal rhyme here rhymes occur within a single line rather than at the end of lines for example jack and jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water jack fell down and broke his crown and jill came tumbling after here jill and hill rhyme within the same line as do down and crown and number 5 no rhyme some poems do not use rhyming words at all for example soft light filters through curtains a gentle breeze steers there mind wanders lost in thought time stands still heart seeks peace a simple breath existence this poem does not use any rhyming words so now we have learned what is a rhyme then we looked into the rhyme schemes and finally we understood different rhyme styles now it's time for exercise let's see how well you have understood rhyme let's try this exercise in this exercise you need to select from the given options one option is correct number 1 what is the rhyme scheme of the poem twinkle twinkle little star a b a b a a b b or a b c b number 2 which type of rhyme matches exactly in sound near rhyme i rhyme or perfect rhyme number 3 what is an example of internal rhyme home and come star and r jeel and heel number 4 which rhyme styles involves words that look like they should rhyme but they do not sound alike perfect rhyme i rhyme or near rhyme and number 5 which of the following poems uses no rhyming words twinkle twinkle little star mary had a little lamb or the example with soft light and peace pause the video solve the exercise and share your answers in the comments and to know my answer please check the description of the video i hope you would have given the correct answers let's quickly revise what we learned in this lesson rhyme is repetition of similar sounds often at the end of lines in poetry common rhyme schemes include a a b b a b a b and a b c b rhyme styles include perfect rhyme near rhyme i rhyme internal rhyme and no rhyme at all that's all for this video in the next lesson we will delve into the concept of rhythm in poetry and how it enhances the musical quality of poems thanks for watching if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update all the best for your upcoming exams and see you in the next video till then goodbye